Hello YouTube, Tim here with my heavy Manchu, my reinforced Manchu style bow. As you can see the tailor is very even, it's a very nice bow, the only difference being a slight angle in the tip here. I think I could fix that with minor heating, but I haven't yet. I will, and then I'm going to send it off to uh, John Bovey, see what he can do with it. He's a longer draw than I do, and it'll be interesting to see what he can get through. If, if he's able to chronograph it, I know uh, Nick is in the area. so. Have some fun with it, please, by all means. I'd love to see what she's capable of. This one's a little bit more elegant than the first. I've reduced the size of the string bridges, and that's really the major difference. I think I could take the Sia's a little bit thinner, but I have not done that. I'll leave that. If John wants to experiment and try that, he could round them a little near the bottom to take off a little bit of mass, and then thin them a little bit more, could even thin them further up here near the tips. There's a lot that could be done. And you could replace the string bridges, of course, with something even uh, smaller, maybe half that size. Every little grain that you save can make a big difference at the end when you're shooting. So let's give it a shot uh, and uh, test it out. I think this is going to shoot just fine. So there's my target. Here are my arrows. I'll start with the bamboo. I will be shooting three-fingered style rather than with a Manchu thumb ring. There's a twang to it. Interesting sound. Okay, those are respectively 660 and 768 grains. These are the 450, 445 grain arrows now. I am drawing it a little farther than I did with the bamboo. Don't ask me why, I just feel a little bit more comfortable with these. Yeah, so this is fast as well. I definitely think there's potential here, although if this is the best means of reinforcing it, I don't know. The string is 18 strands of uh, Dacron in this case, so nine loops. No, eight, I'm sorry, 16 strands of Dacron, so it's a fairly fat string. So that's one other concern, it could be lightened up. And my final concern is that these loops here, made out of the poly, poly paracord, the paracord could be a little bit heavy, heavier maybe than equivalent loops of another material. I'd like to try making something out of fast flight, still using the paracord loops, just because you could save so much uh, weight here in the center but not overpower the bow, because typically horn bows, especially in bows like this, don't recurves of any kind, don't like non-stretching material. It's less forgiving. The energy has to go somewhere, and so it goes right into the limbs and can crack them. So one thing we can do is leave this nice and fairly elastic material here while giving all that weight savings benefit to the inner string there. We could still pick up a few feet per second just from that one change alone. I am very pleased with this bow. It is definitely a near authentic weight Manchu bow. And I'm dying to see John and hopefully Nick too shooting and enjoying it. Give it a shot guys. Let us all see. I'd love to see you guys make some videos and show me what this thing can really do in the hands of an archer who doesn't, I don't know, suck at shooting. So thanks for watching YouTube.